Beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rochelle, but for today, I'm gonna be called Lara. Carry on watching if you want to see how I transform myself into this bad bitch. Today is the day, it's Halloween, and I've been looking forward to Halloween for, well, the whole month, basically. I love Halloween, I love everything about it, and I just love the opportunity to dress up, maybe a little bit smudgy, like, you know what I mean? It's a chance we can dress up and just have fun, and that's why I love it so much. Today's look, we're going for Lara Croft, just because she is the ultimate boss, badass bitch and a pretty basic outfit. Let's let's not pretend that we haven't seen like a thousand other Tomb Raider Lara Crofts out there, but you know, your girl wants in. The inspiration for my outfit is going to be Lara Croft Tomb Raider edition. I'll put the picture up now, hopefully, and I've got it on my screen in front of me so I can see it as I get ready. Obviously, she has no blood or anything like that. I'll be adding that artistic license there, but that is the look I'm going for. So, this is my outfit. I've got this black top, which kind of is similar to her one. It's got little curves at the arms, which is cute. I've got these khaki shorts from Primark, and I really like them because they shape the bum the best. I've got some gloves that I have for weight training. I just thought, instead of buying gloves, let's reduce, reuse, recycle. So, I've got gloves I've already had and then this bad boy that completes the whole look this is actually from eBay and it is the gun holsters a belt and a thigh strap for the guns to go into so I'm very very excited so this is the proposed outfit let's start getting ready so first things first is the hair so Lara Croft kind of has the two like strands of hair very 90s style at the front framing her face and then the rest of it is in a plait so I'm gonna attempt that now <laughs> obviously I've got to take my hair out I've just put it in a a high pony because I was doing a little face mask I've actually linked the face mask down below if you want to check it out it's by Beauty by BB and I was quite impressed actually so I'm just gonna, oh God. <laughs> I'm just gonna put my hair into a middle part and then go from there. So as you can see, I've literally just got my little like 90s fringe down and I'm just making sure my hair is nice and neat in the ponytail. Okay, so we've got the ponytail. Now I'm just going to quickly put this in a plait. Plaiting my hair is just second nature to me now. And then I also decided to straighten my bangs because they were a bit flimsy. Okay, so the bangs are straightened. What's funny is one is actually longer than the other, which is hilarious, but like no one is going to know. I still feel like I don't look like Lara Croft, but I'm in my pajamas, so that is probably why. The great thing about this is the hair is super quick and easy. I don't have to worry about like, you know, if I'm going out, I don't want my hair to get smoke in it or get dirty. By the way, I'm going to a party with a maximum people of six. In England, there is like a quarantine rule, lockdown rule, where you cannot meet with people inside if there's more than six people. So for any police out there, this is a party with maximum six people. It's all social distance. It's all above board. But you girls still want to have a good time. So there's no crime in that. <laughs> okay, so it's makeup time. I've put obviously the two strands of hair behind my ears for comfort. And I'm going to start off with the hydrating facial mist. And this is going to be really great just to, oh God, <laughs> just to tone my face and to get it ready for makeup. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go through with my typical makeup routine. I'll check back in with you when I'm getting to, you know, the Halloween-y makeup stuff. So I thought I would do like a little cheeky time lapse here just so you can obviously still see the products I'm using just in case you're interested. Um, I wish makeup could be this far sometimes, I really do. <sighs> I think I might do red lips and then do like red, like blood coming down here, but then the the difficult part is maybe it might just look bad and it might look like my lipstick is overflowing. I suppose we should start by applying the red lip. Okay, cute. So now I'm actually going to put on the top that I'm going to wear just because I kind of want to do some neck cuts and I don't know where the top is going to be before I do the makeup, if you know what I'm saying. So let me just put on the top. Okay, so the top is on. I feel a bit more confident. I look a bit more Lara Croft-esque. Maybe like up here, I just need to pull this up a bit. Just to, yeah, just to add like... Do you know what I mean? A bit of like head dimension. Okay, now I'm gonna add some darkness to the side. So I've got this NYX palette that actually someone left outside their house to give away and I was like, taking that. So <laughs> I did not buy this. I literally got this outside the front of someone's house. Don't judge, it's a freebie, okay? So I think I'm just gonna take, you know, the darkest one, maybe mix it around with the others and just start splodging on my face. Let's see how this goes. 
To be honest, it's going better than I thought it was. It's actually coming out quite dark. Because they could kind of look like bruises as well, like up my arm and stuff. I could even like sculpt some muscle here. <laughs> Apart from the bronzer that's on my top, I would say I'm doing pretty well. Maybe I should do like some lines on my arm. That kind of just looks like wall, like I purposely did that. Yes. I mean, she didn't have that, but like, I feel like it adds to the aesthetic. Okay, I'm getting way too excited now. I'm gonna go ahead and say that the muddiness is fine. If I need to add more, I'll revisit. But now we're gonna go on to the cuts and the blood. So I actually have this just old brown eyeliner and I'm gonna use this to make some fake cuts on me. So let's just start with a simple and easy one on my arm. The classic line and then the classic line over. Up here. I just love dressing up, like this is just too much fun. Who said I could have this much fun? Okay, and then like, cheek. God, that was a bit thick. I might even just do like a neck one and then do it like she's decapitated. So I'm gonna take a little brush and then this other lipstick that I've just found, which is a bit darker than my Kylie one, and I'm gonna dab this on. And I've used this brush because it's gonna make a little look a bit more speckly and that's what we want so let's start with my arm one just because i can see it yes i'm the queen of basic fx you know at the beginning i was doubting this look but like i think i look good like i think it's coming together maybe i could do like a little drip down effect here and then like maybe with a tissue i'll just dab it out i feel like up close you can see how bad it is but from a distance it's an aesthetic so as you can see, I've put on the belt, I've put on the shorts, and the holsters actually attach around the belt at the side and around the thighs. Let's put the guns in. Oh my God, how cool is this? You cannot tell me this is not the coolest thing ever. The next step is to add my little gloves. So this is the completed outfit from head to toe. We've got obviously the plait, we've got the, the neck detailing here, the like, the mud, the gloves, the top, the abs, honey, <laughs> the, the shorts, and then the best bit of all, pow, 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 the gun and the holsters. I'm literally living for these gun holsters. I wish it obviously wasn't as threatening because I just love them. I wish I could wear these on a day-to-day -day basis, but obviously I'd get in trouble. I would apologize for what you're about to see in the following clips, but... I have to admit, I had way too much fun posing as Lara Croft that this was very much for my entertainment, not even for yours. So that's it guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my transformation into Lara Croft. I have to be honest, this look is a vibe. It, it's definitely giving me like badass vibes. I feel so good in it. I love putting out like my guns from the holsters. I'm just having too much fun. I'm gonna have a great Halloween socially distanced party now. I hope you guys, whatever you did, had a really great Halloween. Obviously COVID is a bit of a dampener on things, but even in times of injustice and insecurity, we move. If you've enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below whether you celebrate Halloween, if you do what you dressed up, has or if you don't celebrate or you didn't dress up why i'd love to have a little conversation below also rate this look out of 10 how do you think i did becoming lara croft i would love to know your opinion and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell i produce two new videos every single week and i wouldn't want you to miss any until next time guys i'll see you next time bye peace out bye from laura bitch i'm going now